right, here's the house at Kakui Ula that we've talked about. Four bedrooms, ocean view pool, hot tub, one car garage, right? You can park in front of it. Let's check it out. It's really a very charming house. So we have a couple of walking paths to the front door. We've got a big lanai here. Right, this is um, off of the upstairs bedroom. It's quite a large space here. You walk in to like the entry foyer. The kitchen is on this side. This is your living room. Have a bedroom on this side, two bedrooms on this side, and one upstairs. So we're gonna start with the kitchen. All right, so this is your, other than outside, this is the only interior eating space. This kind of table bar that sticks out. There's six chairs on it. Come into kitchen. This is your built-in refrigerator. It's a wolf range gas. This is the other side of the base. This is your storage for the kitchen. It is it is quite a bit of storage for a vacation rental, especially this opens up so you can you could push that open and have that completely open to the outside as well. We're gonna go this way, door to the outside, and two bedrooms. So all the bedrooms are nice. You have the wings coating. Uh, wall which we love in Hawaii high ceilings I'd guess 12 foot ceilings so it's a large room it feels that way they have the split systems on the wall here is the bathroom so we've got marble tile and there's an outdoor bath shower right there which we'll look at uh, when we look at the yard Nice sized walk in closet. Plenty of storage there. And then the second bedroom on this side. So this is kind of used more right now as a, it's like a bedroom office, right? It's you can see it's a it's a large bed. This is a Queen Murphy bed. This thing here. And it looks like that's probably a full and then we have a sofa here with a with a big desk. Uh, this could be a queen. This is probably a queen. But it is being sold fully furnished. Mostly fully furnished. They're taking a, a couple of things, but not much. And then here is this bathroom, similar to the first. The marble tile. Double hung windows, right? Meaning you can you can pull these down or push this up. You can go both ways. It's nice, definitely something that is commonly seen in Kukui Ula and really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go out here and we're gonna walk back in through the living room. It's just because the yard is is really nicely done. So I wanna show that too. Here's the outdoor dining, right? Here's that big window you can open from the kitchen for more bar stools, but we'll come back and look at that. Okay, I wanted to show you the outdoor shower. These are banana trees right here. See those little bananas? Tiny, they have to grow a lot. Okay. 
So here's, there's one off of the master or primary, but here's the shower, the communal outdoor shower. It's right there. There's a little, that's a baby banana tree. But they've got, they've got a lot going on in the yard. So here's the grill and a little tiki hut. Right, you have your outdoor grill. Keep going along the bar. You've got a fire pit here. Now this is furniture fire pit, right? Now this is on a little green belt, meaning there's some green space between you and the next lot. Now this dry grass here, that's a lot. Someone will build on that. The dry grass here, that's a lot. Someone will build on that. So you will see more homes here, but you'll have this strip of, of green and that path goes down to the clubhouse. So you could walk through the little gate here and walk down to the clubhouse. It's a coconut tree. All right, so here's the pool. Um, not a big one, but it's a fun pool. You've got the hammock, you've got this porch swing couple of chairs. You've got your solar tiki torches. And then you've got your huge wraparound lanai. Little swinging day bed. Let's look at the whole thing. So you've got this big table. It seats 10. Right? And you've got like some of your outdoor stuff here. Here's the big day bed. Here's your first glimpse of the ocean, which is right there. Right. In person, it probably looks like about that. But you've got some more seating areas outside. You've got some good ceiling fans. And then interior of the air conditioning is Offered ceilings. There's the big TV. I'm gonna show you this room from a couple different um, directions, just so you can get the full sense of it. But this is the living room or the family room. This is kind of where people are hanging out. again. Split system. The front door. Okay. Now down this hallway in that room, that, there are really two primary rooms. And that, this is the first one on the ground floor. You have another door to the lanai. And here you have a little laundry room with the wine slash soda chiller there. All right. Once again, High ceilings, probably 12 feet. Now this one has this big closet area, right? And then like a secondary closet. You could lock the door if you wanted to for guests. primary bathroom, dual sinks, a big tub, just had to check out, that's where the laundry went, your water closet, and your, sho your indoor shower, once again, the marble tile, and then this would be your master outdoor, or your primary outdoor shower. Right? And you can get to it from the side yard, too, if you want to. So that's the single car garage, this roof. So people, when they come in and park, they could come right here 
walk through this little gate and shower there if they wanted to, if you wanted to let them, to get the, the salt and sand off. The one on the other side of the yard, which is kind of the public one, or the one for everyone else, it's a little harder to get to, but you could just walk through the yard and get there. It's not that much harder. So now we're going upstairs. This is the second primary suite. Let me just show you that. That's jumping off the rock at Shipwrecks, which is the beach in front of the Grand Hyatt. All right, so from here, it's kind of an overcast day, but you really do have quite a bit of blue. You see it as you're walking along. And I'll show you more of it when I go out on that lanai. Now this, this is like, could be an office. If you were to live here, it probably would be an office, but it's a secondary gathering spot, right? It is a pull-out sofa, so you could, you could have someone sleep up here. They'd have to go downstairs for the restroom or go into the primary, just so you know. But this would be another primary like bedroom. Now the ceiling goes up a little bit in the middle, so it's a little bit vaulted. This is the lanai for the front door that we saw and talked about. So here's the front yard. There's a little bit of motion there. Princess closet, double sinks soaking tub, your water closet, the view of the windows, through the windows. We've got a pebble floor and then the marble tile for the rest. You do have an, uh, you can't really see it in this, but window's a little dirty, but you, you do have an ocean view from the shower. We'll see it from the lanai. This lanai. Right now there there is gonna be a house built there. And you probably won't lose much of this part, but there's some there's some little blue along here. You you you'll probably lose this part. But for that it's because yeah, there's gonna be a house there and a house there. So I guess you could you could lose some of both of those, just to be aware. So maybe you're looking at that. Okay, that's good to know. Now from here, you have some more ocean view. That one you're not going to lose. Right, that should stay there. There will be a house built on that. Uh, dry lot as well. But it won't be any taller than the tree in those trees right there. Take me some of it, but you still have some of it. We can talk about it more if you want to. And here's the yard you're looking down on. Looks like the house next door is almost done being built, which is great. And this is the upper lanai. All right, thanks guys. Talk to you soon.